Your chart look like this, or this, or maybe like this. I will tell you in this video why this is the worst thing you can do. And then I will tell you the actual truth about all of these indicators. And I will tell you what indicators are actually useful. So first, when I started to trade, or maybe when you trade, you think the more indicators, the better, right? Let's try MACD, RSI, Williams R, Stochastics, Bollinger Bands, Fibonacci Retracement, the more the merrier. The more indicators I have, the more information I have, but this could not be further from the truth. Did you know there's actually a term for that and it's called indicator overload. And this can lead to paralysis of analysis. That means you spend too much time analyzing while just missing good trading opportunities. I heard a quote about this exact phenomenon. You can wait until the moon and the stars align, but by that time, your trade is already gone. Secondly, it can lead to indicator bias. That means you are so focused on your indicators and you forget about the other aspects of trading, such as your risk management, fundamentals, psychology, price action, loss, it can deteriorate traders. That means you have so much information, therefore you get a cognitive overload where it will become very hard for your mind to interpret everything correctly. And as a result, you will make more mistakes. Then the question is, what indicators should I use? Then you first have to understand how the market works. Often we think the market can get either go up or down. But analysis Jeremy Duplessis, he had a different idea. He said, it's far more beneficial not to think in markets going up or down, but the market is either in trending phase or in a congestion phase, so basically not going anywhere. When a market is in a congestion phase, then your accelerators are very useful. That means your indicators that give a signal for oversold or overbought. Think of your MACD, your RSI, your Williams R, Bollinger Bands, your Stochastics. All these indicators are based on price, have all different formulas in order to give you an overbought signal or an oversold signal. Also means that all of these indicators are highly tolerated. So if for your trading setup strategy you need an oscillator, please just choose one that is more than enough. And when a market is in a trending phase, then it's way more useful for your moving averages. Think of when moving averages cross, bouncing of a moving average are all kind of strategies you can use during a trending market. But that also means during a trending phase, your oscillators become basically worthless. They will become stuck at an overbought signal or an oversold signal, depending on what direction the market is trending. But keep in mind, all these indicators are just based on price and price alone. That is just one piece of information you get from the exchange. On my trading charts, I have zero indicators based on price. Well, actually I have one. I use a daily chart, 10 minute chart and a one minute chart on my daily chart. I do have the 200 moving average there. But other than that, all these other indicators are based on volume. My strategy is based on price action and volume. And volume is a crucial information that none of these indicators have. So volume is such a great indicator because it shows you the level of activity at a particular price level. Volume can help me confirm the strength and weakness of a particular move and it gives me amazing entry signals. For example, when the price is moving one direction and the volume is increasing, that means that there is more interest in that particular trend. So it's more likely that that, that trend will continue. In the same way, volume can show you when the trend is reversing. For example, when the stock is moving higher, but the volume is decreasing, these are signs of exhaustion and could be a sign of a reversal move. And my favorite, it can help you identify valid breakouts. If there's a breakout move, the volume is increasing, that's more likely that that breakout will hold. However, on the start of my trading journey, I knew how important volume was, but for me, it was always a challenge. How do I interpret volume? Okay, I see here the spikes. What the heck? Increasing volume, yeah, higher bars, but where, how, what? 
So for me to make it easier to interpret volume, I have actually four volume indicators that I use. The first one you're probably familiar with, that is a view up. It's a very a popular indicator among day traders and it basically tells you what the price should be on the amount of volume. This can be used as a support of resistance levels or as confirmation of trends. If the stock is trending above view up, that shows you an uptrend trending below VWAP that shows you a downtrend. The second volume indicator I use is better volume. I made a specific setting for better volume. Well, it might look a bit strange to you, but for me, it makes it just a bit easier to interpret. On my 10 minute charts, I have a volume profile plotted. I don't use it all the time. It gives me a better idea at what price levels are the most volume. And the last one is actually my favorite. It's a wise wave volume. So in every wave, it accumulates the amount of volume. So if there's an up wave, you see here accumulation of volume during that particular move. Is there a down move? You see the accumulation of the amount of volume in that particular move. This indicator gives me more information about the strength of particular moves and is an essential part of some of my setups. You probably also have seen here my level two and time and sales. Of course, I use it as well. I need to have a confirmation of level two. Otherwise, I won't take the trade. For every setup, I use volume as a confirmation or as an entry signal to enter my trades. So to be clear, do not use colorated indicators. Volume is an essential indicator, but I do want to mention this. Do not just copy and paste my indicators. That is not what will help you. That's not what makes you a winning trader. But use the information and volume and look what works best for you. It's important that you can interpret it correctly. And if you want to know how I use volume indicators to predict breakouts, you have to watch this video. And if you want to know all the things I particularly look for or live trade with me or have a chat with me, no problem. You can join my community, the Trading Tribe. Links in the description. See you.